I have a huge regard for London cabbies. I like them a lot. Not only do they have an opinion on everything, but I think that what they do makes rock. Taxi drivers have been suffering a cab that started life in 1958. A cab that leaked, a cab that rattled, a cab that was cramped. It's time they had a decent motor to tool around in. And now they've got it, the TX1. The TX1 is built by London Taxis International, the largest British-owned car company left. They've spent 20 million developing it and made a point of talking to every cabbie between Kensington and Croydon. Because when it comes to opinions, taxi drivers don't hold back. Will you get a move on? These people... But pleasing London's 20,000-odd cabbies isn't easy. They wanted the TX1 smaller outside, but bigger inside. They wanted the refinement of a saloon, but with the unmistakable black cab silhouette. They wanted an awful lot. As the most significant taxi design for 40 years, the TX1 works well. It's quieter, smoother, bigger, wider and smaller. Yet it still has that classic look. With the old model, you had to wear Wellingtons when it rained, but not this one. The cab doesn't leak anymore. There's a two-year warranty, and build quality looks top-notch. Just as well with the average cab covering over 300,000 miles in its life. So here we are, threading through the London traffic. What do we think? Well, given that most cabbies spend, what, 50,000 miles a year in this seat, it needs to be the most comfortable in the world, and it's not bad. Driving position is much improved. You've got air conditioning, automatic transmission, power brakes, power steering, even a dubious mock wood dashboard. There's no driver's airbag, and this thing should have more pockets in it than a snooker hall. But there's only one, so where are you going to put all those A to Zs, maps, and books of receipts? Performance-wise, it's a 2.7 Nissan turbo diesel, so it's as quick off the mark as the Albert Memorial, and makes as much noise as an AK-47 fired through a concrete pillbox. Come on! Where's your signal? But it's not bad. It goes very well, and you've got wonderful, epic visibility. Trouble is, it has a terrifying price tag of £28,000. So it's a lot of money. That's a lot of £1.40s to claim that back. It takes about four years to pay one of these things off. Oh, for goodness sake! But I have to say, it's a nice old drive. But that is only my opinion. We canvassed some cabbies, the fussiest car buyers in the world, and asked them what they thought. The oh, dashboard, I mean, this, class. this part here is so much better. It's oh. more like a car, whereas the old taxi was more flatter. Well, I mean, it's, 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 really, it's just more, a bit more luxury. When you spend the amount of hours we do behind the car, you do want the sort of luxury. I mean, air conditioning standard, I mean, yeah. things like that make a great improvement. As far as the punter goes, the back is a nice place to be. Lots of room, big wide doors, wheelchair friendly. We've got new jaunty seat coverings, although these silly little yellow inserts here make the seats look like they're ripped. Centre console converts into a baby seat. Very good idea. And you've even got a little plug at the back here for charging up your mobile phone or, if you're very sad or very busy, using a laptop computer. It doesn't look big, but when you sit in it and ride in it, like two people either side, it's quite roomy. It's yeah. quite, I was quite surprised. Because when you, I looked at it in the back, I thought, it looks smaller than it looks. Yeah. The back's coming in like that. Mm -hmm. But in actual fact, it's quite roomy. Yeah. If you ask 20,000 cab drivers in London to design that cab, we'd all be arguing here for the next Forever, 10 years. Yeah. But not even the TX1 can compensate for those nightmare fares. Those wretched passengers who think they know it all. Uh, across the hotel there, the left on Cromwell Road. Oh, you don't go left on Cromwell Road. You have to go left on Barkston Gardens. It's down the Old Court Road drive and then left in Barkston Gardens. He lives in the South Downs and knows nothing. They make it snappy. Ugh. Don't sit behind the Nissan. Don't sit behind the Nissan. Yes, then left. It is not the other way. Drive, pay no attention to it. 